The XM Bank introduces the X Loan. Exporters can access the XM Bank's Forex facility to purchase U.S. funds for raw material and international shipping costs, or get an X Loan to purchase international equipment with a TT loan repayable in TT dollars. Export incentive interest rates available. Increase your company's productivity and be more competitive in the global market. XM Bank, powering exports. Give the gift that lasts a lifetime from the UTC. A gift that shows you really care. A gift, a gift we all can share. A gift that will always be there and last around the years. Oh. Give the gift of units from the UTC. Just give the gift of units from the UTC. This Christmas, give a gift that lasts beyond the season. A gift of units from the Unit Trust Corporation, your partners for life. B Mobile's hosted PBX system provides unique business solutions that can be tailored to virtually any business. Not only does the system improve connectivity with external clients seeking to make bookings, but it also functions as an internal line so that you can run your business from virtually anywhere. At the Jeffrey Masley branch, we are all about our clients and their families. I visited a single mother today and she shared some of the obstacles that she faces daily. She wants me to recommend a savings plan for her and I want to ensure that she has the best plan. Well, we are very versatile and structuring plans. In the event of death or disability, she should have a life and critical illness policy that protects her children in her absence. And since she has children, I also suggest an educational savings plan. Excellent idea. Call us for a quote or just chat and let's make doing business a family affair. Good evening and welcome to the TNC Chamber's Champions of Business Awards finale, a virtual gala event. My name is Terry Lee Bovell and it is my pleasure to host the first ever Virtual Champions of Business Awards, a celebration of business excellence. In these unprecedented times, we have all had to redesign and reimagine our businesses and we have done just that with this gala event. As you can see, tonight we are not at our usual venue, but we are still grateful for the opportunity to share the stories of business success with Trinidad and Tobago and an international audience. We are pleased to host the first gala event being broadcast from the GM Labs, and we thank Guardian Media Limited for their support. The TNT Chamber, being a responsible corporate citizen, continues to do its part to ensure that all safety protocols and social distancing measures are in place and adhered to. We hope that you have enjoyed the four True Story segments over the last few weeks where we highlighted the various award categories. Now tonight, we look forward to honoring our Business Hall of Fame inductee, the internationally known TNT-owned Company of the Year, the three finalists in business technology category 
as well as announcing the winner. Last but not least, the Entrepreneurship Awards. In this category, we will recognize the three finalists and announce the winner of the Emerging Entrepreneurship Award, as well as announce the winner of the inaugural SME Pivot Award. So fill up your glasses with your favorite celebrity drink and celebrate with us. I now invite Mr. Riaz Ahmad, President of the TNT Chamber, to deliver welcome remarks. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 Champions of Business Awards. As the COVID-19 restrictions continue, the TNT Chamber made every effort to ensure that we could host the Champions of Business. In showcasing these industrious business persons and entrepreneurs, we are giving credence to the notion that Trinidad and Tobago is replete with imagination and resilience and serves as a reminder of the positive impact of business goes well beyond profit. Navigating the pandemic meant every business had to put aside yesterday's underlying assumptions and convictions and actively rethink the way value can be and should be created. No doubt, redesigning and reimagining one's business sounds both exciting and overwhelming. But as I have listened to the stories of our nine awardees, the Champions of Business True Stories series, one common thread emerged, collaboration. No one can do it alone, and the pandemic highlights the importance of collaboration in solving rapidly changing, complex problems. Collaboration is a powerful tool that will help us navigate other shared challenges and enable us to compete on the global stage. The Champions of Business Virtual Awards Gala would not have been possible without our corporate sponsors. Platinum sponsors, Trinidad and Tobago Unitrust Corporation, Exim Bank Trinidad and Tobago Limited, Guardian Life of the Caribbean Trinidad and Tobago Limited, B Mobile. Our bronze sponsors, Atlantic, Southern Sales and Service Company Limited, Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. Our media partners, Music Radio 97.1 FM and Guardian Media Limited. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber, I congratulate tonight the inductees and awardees. Your story will inspire others to do greater things that will help build a better future for all. Be assured, the TNT Chamber will continue to advocate on your behalf for a business-friendly environment. It is our belief that strong businesses are the foundation for a prosperous Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ahmad. The Chamber's awards ceremony started as a modest event in 2005 with just the Business Hall of Fame and was eventually branded into the Champions of Business to recognize exemplary contributions of Trinidad and Tobago's top business leaders and companies. Tonight's inductee and award recipients joined the ranks of several business pioneers and local firms who have paved the way in the international market and emerging entrepreneurs who have gone on to become masters of their industry. Please join us as we showcase past Champions of Business highlights in this short video presentation.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am so excited to be part of TNT Chamber's first virtual gala event. We extend thanks to our watch party sponsors, Angostura and Carib, as tonight some of our special viewers are enjoying the virtual awards with their celebration packages. Please share your memorable moments and your photos with us. The Business Hall of Fame Induction Award marks a lifetime of achievement. This honor is bestowed not only on persons who have displayed great business prowess, but also for actively displaying social responsibility as true corporate citizens. On October 24th, right here on CNC3, the TNT Chamber announced the name of the business person who will be inducted into the Business Hall of Fame 2020. And to officially mark the induction, please welcome Mr. Anand Pascal, President of Guardian Life of the Caribbean Limited, sponsor of the Business Hall of Fame, to deliver the introductory remarks for this prestigious category. Honorable guests, awardees, the viewing public, good evening. Guardian Life of the Caribbean has been a proud sponsor of the TT Chamber Business Hall of Fame category for the past two years. As a pan-Caribbean long-term insurance provider, we have a commitment to the growth and development of national and regional communities. We also have an overwhelming appreciation for persons who dedicate their time, energy, and resources to these same communities. The Business Hall of Fame category recognizes persons who have made an indelible mark economically as well as through charitable events and efforts that serve to improve the lives of others. This is achieved through the leadership of strong sustainable businesses that help support employment opportunities and reinforcing humanitarian efforts. This year's awardee exemplifies these attributes. He has already been recognized by many esteemed institutions and conferred awards for this work, not for his own benefit, but for the greater good of society. Hard work, humility, and integrity are some of his personal core values that have led him and the institutions that he has been a part of to where they are today. I am honored to present this award to him today. Guardian Life of the Caribbean Limited, is pleased to partner with the TNT Chamber to induct Mr. A. Norman Sabga into the 2020 Business Hall of Fame. Let's look at Mr. Sabga's journey in brief and share in his acceptance of the Business Hall of Fame Award. He's a very good leader um, and able to get the best out of people. I do try to inspire. My job is to set the big arrow, encourage our people to fulfill that dream, to dream with them. I'd like to thank the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber for this honor of receiving the acceptance into their Hall of Fame. This is an honor I accept on my behalf as the head of the Ansa Macal Group, and I accept it as well on their behalf because without their input, I would not have been so honored. Um, it is wonderful as well to be recognized by your peers for what you've achieved, and I'm humbled that I would be so recognized. Um, as I said before, no one is able to accomplish this uh, 
and to be privileged to be awarded this by doing it on your own. All of the Anselm McCall family has collectively played a huge part and my personal family as well, my wife in particular, who has been both my greatest support and critic um, during many, many years. The nights of work um, and sacrifice, she put up with it and she was part of it. And for that, I'm deeply grateful. So to the chamber as well, thank you. I'm honored and I receive this honor on behalf of all members of the Ansa Bacal group of companies. Thank you so very much. I now invite Mr. Sabga to the stage to receive his award. Congratulations to Mr. Sabga. I would also like to invite our viewing audience to visit the Chamber's website to view the full video of our Business Hall of Fame inductees and all our finalists and awardees. Now let's envisage a homegrown business that has made bold moves beyond our borders, establishing their footprint throughout the CARICOM region, Latin America, and eventually the rest of the world constantly reimagining and redesigning your strategies to become champion exporter. What we call the internationally known TNC owned Company of the Year Award. I now invite Mr. Navin Dukaran, CEO of Exim Bank Trinidad and Tobago Limited and sponsor of this category to deliver remarks and introduce the 2020 internationally known TNT owned Company of the Year Award. The Exit Bank is pleased to collaborate with the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce to support the internationally known TNT owned Company of the Year Award. This award is in particular is very well aligned with our mission, which is to create and expand exports from Trinidad and Tobago. The award recognizes and rewards the hard work that it takes for companies to penetrate and conquer markets abroad. What is especially attractive to us is that the award highlights success. It shows that it is possible to increase exports and sets the ambition and aspiration for many companies to achieve the same. This year, the internationally known TNT owned award has shone a light on Rams Logistics Limited a company with operations throughout the hemisphere and marked by a strong vision and ability to execute. This has allowed them to capitalize on first mover advantage in many markets. I wish to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the team at Rams Logistics for winning this well-deserved award. The Exim Bank stands ready, willing and able to provide resources to exporters and plans to light the way for other companies to follow the lead of Rams Logistics. Let's take a look at the Rams Logistics story. Around 2010, we realized that if we want to continue growing the business at the scale that we envisioned it, we also needed to look at markets outside of Trinidad and Tobago. So what we did is that we looked at markets that we thought that there was a high GDP growth potential because obviously those are the markets where business will be, do be doing well over the next few years. And then we also looked at a second option, which was what were those markets where there was a higher risk of doing business. Because what happened is that the GDP potential would grow top line revenue and the higher risk of doing business would help keep our competitions out. Because we operate in an environment where we are competing with some of the biggest companies in the world for business. I now invite Mr. Ram Narayan Rampasad, Executive Chairman of the Rams Logistics Limited, to deliver remarks and accept the award.
I started this business in our house as a small customs brokerage firm in 1985. Back then, I was chief cook, captain, and bottle washer. Never in my wildest dreams I would have thought that it would have grown into a dynamic family business as the leading logistics company within the region. We are honored to receive this award. We accept this award knowing that the future is bright, knowing that while there will always be obstacles in progress, we see opportunities in adversity which can never stop a bunch of bright, dedicated, smart people from accomplishing great things. At RAMS, we live by the mantra, together we are better. I accept this award knowing that together we can make a difference, and together we will always be better. We hope to use this recognition to strengthen Trinidad and Tobago's position on a global scale. We wish to thank the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Commerce for recognizing the efforts of those of my colleagues and myself. As a company, we want to recommit ourselves as a corporate citizen of Trinidad and Tobago to continue working together to build this beautiful nation. Thank you. Congratulations to Rams Logistics Limited, making TNT proud as they cross geographic boundaries. I once again invite our viewers to visit the Chamber's website at www.chamber.org.tt for extended content on tonight's awardees. We invite all viewers to stay tuned till the end to see who will cop the business technology Emerging Entrepreneur, and SME Pivot Awards this year. SMEs dream of expanding their business. Listing on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange SME markets can help get you there. Increase your company's profile, raise capital from public investors, and obtain equity financing all while benefiting from a 10-year tax incentive. Visit stockx.co.tt for more. The TTSE, creating opportunities. creative concept to the final product GM Labs will take you there we have the know-how tools and resources to get your product from a small screen to the big screen need space to launch a new product maybe take a photo shoot or record a vlog GM Labs has the space you need to do it all with over 2,800 square feet located right here in downtown St. Vincent Street, Port of Spain, GM Labs has a one-stop shop for all your content creation needs. Call or send us a WhatsApp message at 384-4465 to get your consultation today. Guardian Media Labs. Create. Engage. Excite. Welcome back to the TNT Chamber's first ever Virtual Champions of Business Gala Awards Ceremony. 
we remind all viewers to stay tuned in until the end to see who will cop the business technology, emerging entrepreneur, and SME Pivot Awards. As we continue to navigate the COVID-19 pandemic, we have all come to appreciate the role of technology in ensuring continuity in education, in keeping us connected to our loved ones, and certainly in redesigning and reimagining the way businesses deliver their goods and services and allowing companies to be boundaryless. This brings us to our penultimate award category. On November 3rd, we announced the three finalists in Business Technology Award, sponsored by B-Mobile. Let's take a look again at these outstanding stories. What we needed to do with this changing demographics and the changing consumer behavior is that we now needed to combine the virtual world with the physical world. We were now going to be doubling the size of the company. We were going to be tripling the size of the number of items that we carry. We can't do that manually. You're looking at tens of thousands of products. You're looking at different locations and you're looking at different promotions and price points. So now all of a sudden you, you have now expanded to millions of data points, right? And millions of pieces of data. So technology was very important for us to be able to integrate a lot of that data into one database. So I can quickly look and see exactly what is happening at any particular point of register, at any location, at any point in time. As we move through this pandemic, it allowed us to be able to keep people employed. It allowed us to be able to still serve our customers and to be able to get the more essential items that people needed. Exxon Stores engages in a lot of different activities and events. And one of the things that we're really, really proud of, besides having the Christmas parades and supporting local steel band, is our promotion of dragon boating within Trinidad and Tobago. ShopHub.com was conceptualized in 2016. ShopHub is an e-commerce marketplace whereby vendors and customers can buy and sell online. Vendors can register online within minutes and e-commerce their business. Our system is fully customizable to vendor product requirements. We have made e-commerce simple and easy to set up. Customers can also shop online from various vendors where they can compare products, compare prices and make an informed decision before they purchase. We accept credit card payments online. We also accept PayPal as well as cash and links on delivery. Customers can get their products delivered to their door. We've also integrated with DHL where we offer worldwide shipping. We've created our mobile app where customers can shop on the go, launching at the end of October. Currently, we are available for Trinidad and Tobago vendors and we are in the process of launching regionally within 2021. ShopHub.com supports corporate social responsibility initiatives. We do training sessions with young entrepreneurs at UE to encourage students to start their own business. We also offer OJT programs to ICT students, providing opportunities to work with an IT company like ours. We also work with a number of young entrepreneurs as a mentorship program via Arsenal of Jack. What we had to do to reimagine and redefine our service was ask questions. What kind of value do we want to bring our clients? Who do we want to bring that value to? How would we measure that? Print TT, that is a true online design to print service. So basically you can print online. It's very easy. So you browse, you upload or you design, and then you check out, that's it. So you can print from anywhere in the world. You can print from anywhere in Trinidad and Tobago. We cherish collaboration. And I use that word because no one person can do it alone, especially in this period of time. What we're working on right now is a marketplace where we are going to invite other printers to come on board on the platform. So you're gonna have a variety of printers uh, with different products and services from ours that you can purchase on the exact same platform. And I'm sure it's gonna be beneficial to the customer because now they have a wider range of products to choose from on one website. It's corporate social responsibility. We partnered with uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week. We had an event at no cost. We also partnered with South Market. We also partnered last year with the TSL Foundation. So we really wanted to 
give back and do that and those partnerships allowed us to do so. B-Mobile will be awarding the winner of this category with a B-Mobile Business Solutions Package valued at $10,000. Please welcome B-Mobile's representative, Mr. Ian Gold, TSCT's General Manager for Enterprise Services, to deliver the sponsor's remarks and do tonight's honor of recognizing our finalists and announcing the winner of the 2020 Business Technology Award. Good evening. I'm Ian Gold, General Manager, Enterprise Services at TSTT. TSTT is honored to join the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce to celebrate the winner of the 2020 B-Mobile Business Technology Award. As a company that was instrumental in creating Trinidad and Tobago's technology backbone, this is a significant partnership and moment for us as well. It is inspiring to see Trinidad and Tobago born and built businesses harnessing technology to innovate, advance their operations and their industries, and ultimately propel our country forward. Amidst these challenging times, TSTT is committed to ensure that we do our part so that the future looks promising and positive. Though only one company will be crowned winner of the B-Mobile Business Technology Award, all of this year's finalists have done impactful, path-breaking work that is worthy of recognition. As a company of the soil, TSTT salutes all three finalists in no particular order. Excellent Stores Limited, Printree, powered by the DocuCenter, and ShopHub.com. I now invite Mr. Alex Suchong of Excellent Stores, Ms. Rowana Mirage of ShopHub.com, and Mrs. Nikisha Bartholomew Remy of Printree to come to the stage to receive their awards. Not only do all three companies operate within the e-commerce space, but they are disruptive, innovative, and they prioritize collaboration. They understand that while technology is critical to their success, people are the core, or some might say, the secret source. TSTT is proud to stand beside the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber to award this year's B-Mobile Business Technology Award to a small, but mighty company. Please join me in congratulating this year's winner, Printree, powered by DocuSign. And I'll invite Mrs. Nakisha Bartholomew Reilly of Printree, powered by the DocuSign, to the stage to receive the award and deliver remarks on behalf of her company. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. First of all, thank you. Thank you for being nominated for this Champions of Business Award. It is an honor. 
particularly given the strength of the field this year. But to win against, against such strong competition is just amazing. I feel humbled and at the same time, incredibly proud. Very few things in this life are entirely the work of just one person, and this is no exception. So I must also pay tribute to the enormous contributions made by the TSL and Docu Center team. Jared and Samantha, for your continued support to our customers. Our production team and partners for producing what we need. To my colleague, Matthew, thank you for saying, come look at this. That really fueled my ideas and got me going. To our marketing and launch team, and last but not least, thank you to our board of directors, Stuart, Ja, Nicholas, Roger, and Gillian, for your support and for having the confidence in allowing me to spearhead this project. We really do count ourselves lucky to win, but when we did, and it is a great feeling to be up here. Every time we look at the award, we'll be reminded of how much this moment means to us. That said, we mustn't forget that awards are not simply about first and second. They tell us a lot about our industry and gives us another starting point, enabling us to innovate even further. In some ways, the work has just begun. I am delighted to accept this award on behalf of French Powered by the Docu Center, and thank you all. Gracious words from our winner, so congratulations to our winner and to all our finalists. At TSTT, we don't see ourselves as mere providers or as merely an operator. We see ourselves as an extension of our customers' businesses and as a true partner. We're committed to supporting the business community as it rebounds from this pandemic and continue the great work to establish Trinidad and Tobago as a force to be reckoned with. Thank you and good evening. Our finalists and awardees have also been presented with masks, courtesy our local creative industry designers, Heidi's Fashions and Diane Carlton. The chamber would like to applaud these entrepreneurs attached to our local creative industry. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now move on to the Entrepreneurship Award category. Tonight, we will salute extraordinary entrepreneurs who have created successful businesses through true grit and determination and by embracing change within two subcategories, Emerging Entrepreneur and SME Pivot Award. This award category is sponsored by the Trinidad and Tobago Unitrust Corporation. The Emerging Entrepreneur Subcategory Award is bestowed to an individual or business experiencing strong growth. The business would have been founded within the last 10 years. I now invite you to take a look at the videos of the three finalists of the Emerging Entrepreneur Award. Immortal Beauty is a local bath and body product line. We manufacture the aspirational Caribbean lifestyle, make it available to anybody who kind of wants to tap in to a high-end Caribbean experience. So we make all sorts of bath and body products, lotion, shower gels, body butters, body scrubs. We also do home fragrance, candles and room diffusers. And we also have a pedicure line. We started in 2011, so next year will be our 10 year anniversary. We started with just one product line, which was our foot care, our pedicure line. But since then, we've grown and we've expanded. And this store, we opened last year in 2019. So next year will also be two years in our store. Our products are extremely high quality, so they're great moisturizers, they're great cleansers. But then there's also the emotional benefits, especially during 
this year 2020 everybody has been extremely stressed anxiety very very high and being able to buy something that's a little indulgence for yourself has improved people's sense of well-being during covid 19 we've experienced several challenges but also several opportunities we've had our website since 2014 our website just blew up people really started to take that risk um take the jump into purchasing online and that has been the hugest change for us since covid our goal is to show the world that locally made caribbean products can also be beautiful and sophisticated Stephanie Pemberton, CEO and founder of Planting Seeds Caribbean, an entrepreneurship development company that produces an investment TV series, entrepreneurship magazine, educational workshops, school tours, and most recently a digital marketplace. The business is not your contemporary buy and sell business. What we do is empower entrepreneurs and educate entrepreneurs in order to supply the products or service, push investors to finance its development, and create consumer awareness and marketing to eventually get it noticed and sold. During COVID-19, our filming operations and events had come to a complete shutdown. I saw this as an opportunity to redefine and reclassify who we are and what we do. When the world changes, entrepreneurs must adapt, adjust and evolve and that is why we created the digital marketplace. Instead of seeking to grab or hold on to what we had during tough times, we decided to give. I invested in the website and onboarded our amazing entrepreneurs to populate the digital store. We opened it up to nationwide deliveries so that not only urban areas would benefit but rural areas as well. We pushed and trained entrepreneurs to learn and accept the technology and also constantly re-educate the consumers as it relates to online ordering. We hired new staff members, including customer service reps, drivers and salespersons, so that we can hire instead of fire when our economy needs it the most. Our sales and onboarding success has been incredible and we are quickly evolving into a technology-based, vertically integrated solution that encompasses all facets of the business. So tune in to see what happens when it comes to that when we integrate supply chain management, financial statements and everything business under the sun. We also are now integrating with DHL to be able to provide goods and services throughout the region as well. So we're really, really excited to work more with other Caribbean countries and to scale and grow throughout the Caribbean. Farm is a farm-to-table concept with the aim of revolutionizing the way we eat in Trinidad and Tobago. We took over ownership of Shagrama's Farms Limited in August 2018. We relaunched our market and opened our restaurant in February 2019. Breakfast is an all-day prefix menu with a fusion of local and continental cuisine. However, our lunch menu changes daily depending on what's in season and always features on our locally caught fish. The farm is also accessible for consumers to pick their own produce from a list of our weekly harvest menu. Initially, we relied on traditional word of mouth strategy. Social media, in particular Instagram, has become our digital platform. With over 13,000 followers, we use Instagram and hashtags to expand on our target audience and display our products and services. Due to the recent COVID-19 pandemic, distribution and supply chain methods have become a serious challenge. To mitigate this, we have made ourselves more accessible by offering a delivery service and a call and collect service for both food and produce. In April 2019, we partnered with a local NGO, I Am Movement, with the mission of effective, positive social environmental changes in Trinidad and Tobago. Currently, all of our excess harvested produce is donated to the Emperor Valley Zoo, and Shagrama's Petting Zoo Safari Eco Park to feed the animals. In addition, we contribute produce to the Joy of Giving, which is a love all, serve all initiative that distributes hot meals to the homeless daily around the island. We believe that you are what you eat, and our menu promotes the highest quality ingredients and the freshest produce grown on our farm or sourced locally from various farmers around the island. I now invite Mr. Nigel Edwards, Executive Director of Unit Trust Corporation, to deliver sponsor remarks to recognize each of the finalists and to announce the winner of the Emerging Entrepreneurship category for 2020. And to also introduce our inaugural SME Pivot Award. Entrepreneurship 
is at the heart of who we are at the Unit Trust Corporation. We know what it's like to start small, overcome challenges, and push ourselves to the limit against the expectation of many and to be able to leave a lasting impact. As a mutual fund company, we pushed the boundaries on what nobody even knew was possible. These awards mirror our appreciation of the dynamism, the innovation, and the shared determination shown by so many small and emerging entrepreneurs in Trinidad and Tobago, especially in the face of COVID-19. These are challenging times for our country, and these awards give recognition to the value of our entrepreneurs and what they have accomplished. So this evening, it's an honor to partner with the TNT Chamber of Industry and Commerce to present the Emerging Entrepreneur Award, which will be given to an individual or a business experiencing strong growth. The UTC is honored to partner with the TNT Chamber this year to pay tribute to these game changers in the entrepreneurial landscape. It is indeed my pleasure to announce the finalists, Immortal Beauty, Upic Farm, and Planting Seeds Digital Marketplace. I now invite Ms. Catherine Nurse, Ms. Christina Budusing, and Ms. Stephanie Pemberton to the stage to receive their awards. UTC is pleased to announce this year's Emerging Entrepreneur is the Planting Seeds Digital Marketplace. I now invite Ms. Stephanie Pemberton back to the stage to receive her award and to give thank you remarks. Thank you, Mr. Edwards and the Unitrust Corporation as well as the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Commerce for this amazing award and acknowledgement. This award belongs to the entrepreneurs who this platform was built for. These people have celebrated the good times and bad times in business with us, and they constantly push every day to be better, to push harder, to move faster, to improve our service and technology, and their spirit and drive is the reason why we are here today accepting this award. The success of this platform is not just about what we did today, but what our great team has done for the past five years. I would also like to thank my entrepreneurial mother, Shelley, my stepfather, Eric, and my late father, Ian. I would also like to thank Maria Daniel, partner at EY, my business partner, Jason Reese, and everyone on the Planting Seeds team who's made this all possible. Last but not least, I'd like to thank God for making me and all of the people who played a role in this journey a success. It has been a wild, amazing, magnificent, challenging, and fruitful um, journey, and I guess that's just how God designed it. So um, thank you for that. And again, thank you for the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Commerce for this amazing award and event and for also being able to transition the award ceremony in such a great and exciting way. is honored to partner with the TNT Chamber to present the inaugural SME Pivot Award to Pesh Patisserie. From Pesh's inception, we've utilized and maximized social media to our advantage. We've also built relationships with our customer base and have been able to benefit from that goodwill. was 
once a restaurant offering in-house dining for a range of bread, pastries, desserts and culinary delights. And it has been converted into a commercial bakery and food service line as of January 2020. Our product range consists of all natural handcrafted healthy sourdough bread as well as a range of sauces and condiments which are free of all artificial preservatives. Uh, Pesha's journey began as a laundry room project and evolved into a restaurant on Picton Street where we gained notoriety for great food, uh, breads, pastries, desserts and coffee. Uh, Pesh then moved to Shagonas as our catering business grew and demanded more production space. Eventually we converted into our commercial bakery production facility shortly after the decision was made to expand into food service manufacturing. We converted our business model from a restaurant to a commercial bakery pre-COVID. Um, this change in business model was accelerated uh, shortly after the initial lockdown and we took advantage of our online presence to generate sales with tremendous success. Very quickly we utilized our social media presence uh, to advertise our you know, uh, website. Uh, within a week or two we were selling online. Um, and based on our response, uh, you know, in PriceMart with our roadshow, which was a launching part for us and an eye-opener, we recognized that the business can be sustainable supplying retailers. Uh, so this is what we, 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 we focused on and it pivoted us into this role now as a food service manufacturer. I now invite Mr. Khalil Ali to the stage to accept the award and to deliver his thank you remarks. Mr. Chairman, uh, President and board members of the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce and other distinguished guests, I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the Chamber for recognizing Pesh. Uh, I accept this award with humility on behalf of all the hardworking business people of Trinidad and Tobago, uh, with whom I share these dire times. Uh, Pesh belonged to the hospitality industry, which was first hit by the general decline, like in most economies in most countries, and compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic. On January 2nd of this year, Pesh closed its restaurant to focus and transform into a commercial bakery and launched its food service line of condiments and sauces. Uh, we thought at that time the restaurant closure would be temporary. Um, however, with the initial lockdown, we decided to accelerate the transition of Pesh to a model whereby customers can still enjoy our creations by implementing various other methods of accommodating their needs. Uh, Pesh sought to weather the storm by being true to its mission, uh, to consistently be inspired to create a variety of the best product possible continually developing new products and devising innovative ways of reaching and satisfying our customer base. Recently, we began marketing our line of sauces and condiments to complement a wide range of foods. The, label, the labels for our bottled products bear the name Pesh and our sourdough under real bread. Our products can be found at places like Price Mart and uh, Malabar Meats, direct sales, uh, for curbside or delivery uh, are conducted via peshpedestry.com. And information obviously can be found uh, on all major social media platforms. In closing, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our hardworking employees and many loyal customers who's, who have stood by Pesh uh, over the years. I would like to express my gratitude. I would like to express gratitude to my father for his unconditional support and my girlfriend, Tahira, for her intense involvement in the further development of the Pesh and Real Bread brands. Thank you very much. We see entrepreneurship and the development of entrepreneurship as being critical to the economic development and advancement of this country. 
we're committed to developing the entire entrepreneurial sector. We have big plans for our entrepreneurs. So let's embark on this journey together. Thank you and be safe, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to the end of our formal program. To give the closing remarks, I now invite Mr. Gabriel Faria, Chief Executive Officer of the TNT Chamber. Thank you very much, Dan. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the TNT Chamber, I would like to again congratulate the award recipients. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, organizations have demonstrated remarkable agility, changing business models literally overnight. Some people are waiting for the world to return to the normal they knew pre-pandemic, while others like our finalists and awardees recognize the world as we know it has changed. Never has the term the new normal been more relevant. Those who redesign and reimagine their businesses will come out better and stronger. We have to say thank you to so many very important organizations, without whom we could not have put on the Champions of Business program this year. Our platinum sponsors, B Mobile for business technology, Exim Bank for internationally known TNT owned, Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation for entrepreneurship, Guardian Life of the Caribbean Limited for Business Hall of Fame, our bronze sponsors, Atlantic, Southern Sales and Service Company Limited, and the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange, our media partners, Music Radio 97.1 FM and Guardian Media Limited. To our viewing audience, a special thank you for joining us. I hope the true stories we shared tonight will provide motivation and inspiration to you all. I received so much positive feedback on these programs as we featured the four-part series that preceded tonight's finale. We have grown our audience from 500 physical attendees to thousands on national television and online. People have asked, how can they nominate or be nominated and where can they view their programs online? Our warmest thanks to iCreate Events, the members of the Champions of Business Committee, the selection panel, the staff at the TNT Chamber who gave their all to make our 2020 Champions of Business Awards truly memorable and inspiring. Last, but definitely not least, we have to recognize one of our vice presidents, board members, and chair of the Champion of Business Committee, Kiran Miraj. This was her brainchild. She conceptualized the new format. No, she actually redesigned and reimagined it and worked tirelessly on each of the programs. We could not have done this without her. Kiran, on behalf of the board, we have a small token to present to you. And in keeping with safety protocols, we'd like to ask you to come up to receive it. On behalf of the board of directors of the TNT Chamber, we wish you and your loved ones a safe and happy holiday season. We look forward to seeing you at our 2021 awards function. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for allowing us into your homes for what was the first virtual gala event hosted by the TNT Chamber. Stay logged on to our websites and social media pages where the celebration will continue. Stay safe and good night.